When discussing measles and vaccines, you might hear people say, well, measles cases were already declining before the vaccine was introduced in 1963, so vaccines aren't really responsible for eliminating measles. But this statement contains a kernel of truth and then uses it to draw a deeply misleading conclusion. So let's look at what the data actually shows. Yes, measles cases were declining before the vaccine was introduced, and that is definitely worth acknowledging. Improvements in sanitation, healthcare access, and living conditions all contributed to reducing the impact of many infectious diseases. But look at the actual numbers. Between 1950 and 63, the U.S. still experienced between 300,000 and 800,000 measles cases every year. Mortality had improved compared to earlier decades, but measles remained a serious public health threat. But look at what happened after the measles vaccine was introduced in 1963. By 1968, just five years later, cases dropped by over 97% to around 22,000 cases. And by 1998, we were averaging only 100 cases per year, which was a 99.99% reduction. Now, this was not a gradual continuation of the pre-vaccine trend. It was a dramatic cliff-like drop that perfectly coincided with vaccine introduction. Public health is not about choosing between vaccines or or other measures. It's about using all effective tools together. Proper nutrition helps maintain a healthy functioning immune system. Good sanitation reduces exposure to pathogens. Adequate housing prevents overcrowded conditions. Healthcare access ensures prompt treatment. And vaccines provide specific protection against targeted diseases. These measures work synergistically. Think of disease prevention like a home security system. You have good locks and lighting, but that doesn't mean that you should leave your front door wide open, right? So if improved living conditions alone were enough to eliminate diseases, chickenpox should have disappeared long before its vaccine was introduced in 1995. But that's not what happened. In the early 1990s, despite all of our modern sanitation and health care, the U.S. still had about 4 million chickenpox cases annually. Within nine years of vaccine introduction, cases dropped by 85 percent. When we acknowledge that multiple factors contribute to disease reduction, we're not diminishing the value of vaccines, we're placing them in their proper context as the most powerful tool in a comprehensive approach. Vaccines don't work in isolation. They work as the cornerstone of a multifaceted public health strategy. And the evidence clearly shows that without them, we would still be seeing hundreds of thousands of measles cases every year.